the year before. The addition of new players and a tough 96 schedule added to the critics' prediction of a middle-of-the-road finish for the game. <laughs> Jeff Eklinski had his best day of the young season, completing 14 of 18 passes for 170 yards and one touchdown. Jermaine Coco Blaylock's long putt return for a TD also helped break the game open to give Western its first 3-0 start since the 1988 season. Senior place kicker Keith Jones tied a school record with three field goals in the game. The WIU defensive unit also played a strong game, including several key sacks. So we made our goal and to accomplish that goal. We have to practice hard that following week to be decent so we, so we can be recognized once again. So our coach, our coach did a good job of uh, building that in our heads that we have to win this game. And the way we win this game is good defense, uh, chemistry on the offense, and uh, good special teams play which all three came together that game. Western then traveled to Charleston, Illinois for a first ever non-conference game with the Panthers of Eastern Illinois. Eastern entered the game ranked 11th in the nation, but would soon become Western's second nationally ranked victim of the season. The game was a tremendous defensive battle with Western keeping the Panthers out of the end zone with plays like this interception by senior linebacker Vince Bruno. When you, when you, of Southern Illinois, Western's 26 to 19 win, WIU's 13th straight over Southern, saw two Leatherneck running backs eclipse the 100 yard mark for the first time in 96. Jermaine Blaylock contributed 132 yards with this touchdown sprint. Knuckles led all players with 152 yards and a touchdown run of his own. Quarterback Heklinski had one of his finest days of the season, completing 13 of 21 passes for 174 yards and one TD by Knuckles, who finished the day with 198 yards and four touchdowns. Place kicker Jones tied his own school record of three field goals made in the game, including a 52-yarder longest in school history. Eklinski also hooked up with senior John Moffat on a catch and run TD. In one of WIU's most complete games, the defensive squad made several outstanding plays, topped off by Don Chimkowicz interception. Yeah, I think the Cal Poly set off its third nationally ranked team of the 96 season by defeating seventh ranked Southwest Missouri 23 17 in Springfield. Despite rushing for only 28 total yards in the game, the Leathernecks were able to move the ball successfully on the throwing arm of Jeff Heklinski. The junior quarterback finished the day with a season high 258 yards and one TD, a 78 yard bomb to Beto Griffin. Defensive back Frank Spragans led all players with 15 tackles, but the entire squad made the plays during the game to win, including a fourth down stop for the Bears in which three next starters were injured. No, that guy. In a driving rainstorm down in Murray, Kentucky, Western stayed close to the racers thanks to an early second half interception by Blunt and touchdowns by Knuckles. However, the latter next goal of a first round win was not realized losing that game 34 to 6.
turn the light. Mm-hmm. 